Hi everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to make more money with low sales on KDB. Before we start the video, I want to ask you a question. Which would you prefer, to sell 200 books and make it $1,000 or sell 1,000 books and make it $1,000? Of course, the answer is quite obvious. It's easier and more realistic to sell 200 books than to actually sell 1,000 books in a month. So in this video, I want to show you actually the easiest ways you can actually use to make more money even with low sales on KDP. So I want you to stick to the end of the video because there's a lot of information that I'm going to share with you in this video that will help you actually make more money even if you are making low sales on KDP. Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Austin Sunday. If this is your first time, I want to specially welcome you to my channel. I created this channel to be able to reach as many people as possible that are looking for practical solutions to grow their businesses and personal finance. So if that seems like something you're interested in, I want you to click on the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that I can be notified anytime I post a new video. But before getting to video, I want to really thank those of you that have subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to encourage me and support me by clicking the subscribe button, like the video, share it so that other people can also benefit from it. So let's get into the video. So one of the reasons lots of persons are not making money from KDP, it's actually because of the kind of mindset that they have. Fundamentally, there are actually two wrong mindsets that people do have that makes them not really see as much sales as they are supposed to see. The first wrong mindset is the one that they have, that they think they have to make thousands of books in order to make thousands of dollars. So what happens is that when you have that kind of mindset that you want to make thousands of books in the shortest period of time so that you can make thousands of dollars, you begin to focus less on quality and focus more on quantity. You will not take your time to do niche research, you will not take your time to do keyword research, you will not take your time to design good covers, your interiors will be low quality, you will not even have enough time to actually sit down and write a proper description. You will just be focused on publishing and publishing and publishing. And that's really a wrong mindset because KDP is changing, Amazon rules are changing. The point is that you have to, as much as you can, focus on quality, make your books very, very good, take your time. That's one thing that lots of persons don't really do. I don't really blame them because a lot of persons actually preach quantity over quality. And um, for me, for example, when I started KDP, there was a free course I went through. The guy that was teaching to read course said that there's a rule on KDP that for every book you upload on KDP, you have at least one sale in a month. So if you have 100 books, that means you have 100 sales in a month. And if your royalty per book is $1, that means you have made $100. So if you have 1,000 books on Amazon, it means you can actually make $1,000 or so. So that kind of mindset, I started with it. I was making books and I was not really seeing sales. I made about 150 books. But my friend that was actually publishing just five books has already started seeing sales. He was more focused on quality than quantity. And he already started seeing sales from his book and he was doing a coloring book. So I quickly just moved to his own ideology and started building my own KDP mentality by focusing more on quality. And that has actually really helped me. I don't publish thousands of books. I take my time to do my research, I take my time to do my keyword research, I take my time to do my niche research, I take my time to, de to design covers, very good cover, write my description, upload them properly, so that these books can actually bring more money for me than those people that are working so hard and getting very little. Then the second mindset that a lot of persons actually have on KDP that make them not to make as much money as they should is because they feel that um, they should price their book very, very low which is really a wrong mindset. You see, some people feel that the lower the price, the more people want to buy, but it's not actually true. People actually compare price to quality. So if the average book on that particular niche is actually, let's say, $9.99, and you are pricing your own at $4.99, you might feel that people would buy because yours is cheaper at $4.99. People will literally feel that your book is cheap and is low quality and you not take as much time as you can. Except you want to run a promo or something or give them a reason to believe why your book is that cheap. But it actually hurts you at the end of the day because it means you have to actually sell hundreds of books. And that's another thing that lots of people actually get wrong on KDP. See, there's no need to sell thousands of books to make thousands of dollars. You just need to be able to know how to structure your price in such a way that you can actually sell few books and actually make more money. Imagine if your royalty for a book is $10. Just imagine. If you find a niche that your royalty for a book is $10, it means for you to be able to make $100, you just have to sell 10 books. What if the royalty for a book is $5? It means you just need to sell 20 books to make $100. You just need to sell 200 books to make $1,000. But if you now price your book so low, 
and um, the royalty is in cents. How many books do you think you have to sell in order to make a hundred dollars? Not to talk about a thousand dollars. You see, so you have to actually know how to price your book properly on KDP so that you can actually make more money. For me, I don't focus on quantity of sales. I focus on quality of sales. I focus on those kind of books that I can actually charge very high in terms of price. And people do not really see like that I'm defrauding them or something because the quality of that book is actually worth the price. So there's some things I'm going to show you guys in this video on what I do particularly to customize my book in such a way that if I put it at a high price, people would actually want to buy. So for me, I don't care if I'm having 5, 10, 15, 20 sales per day. But if I get those 20 sales per day, at the rate at which the price of those books are, those books are going to actually bring more money than somebody that is pricing his book at $6.99 or $5.99. Some people really go as low as $4.99. And, and at the end of the day, I'm wondering, it means you have to literally be selling hundreds or even thousands of books for you to be able to make a reasonable amount of money. So the first thing I would want to say is that you have to know how to price your book in such a way that with little sales, you can actually get much more money. This video is not for you to just go and quickly go to your KDP and start changing the prices of your book. No, that's not what this video is about. The price of your book should be justified by the quality of your book. You cannot just price a book without a good quality. So that if your customers are buying those books, they should actually give a good review. Personally, what I do is that when I go to a niche, and I'm doing my niche research. There's something called price research. Apart from niche research, keyword research, there's something called price research that a lot of people don't even talk about or know about in KDP. You see, price is a very sensitive thing in business. Generally, the price of a particular product tells you a lot about that product. But you would actually agree with me that if something is priced high, you expect more. If something is priced low, you don't expect so much. So you should be able to know how to structure your book in such a way that people can perceive your book as something that is actually of high value. And one way that people wouldn't know that your book is of high value is if your price is high. So when I go to a particular niche, generally I check the average price of the books on that niche. What I focus more on is which books have the highest prices. Then I want to know if those books are selling or if they are not selling. So for example, if the highest price of a book in a particular niche is, let's say $15 or $12, and the lowest price of the book in that niche is $4.99. My research will be more on those books that are selling well and are priced high. What are the things in those books? Why are people buying it? What are the customers saying about it? I will look, take my time to look at their covers, study their description, look at their interiors. I want to know why people are buying this book that, this book that is priced high. One of the most common reasons is because the person that made that book took his time to add a lot of value into that book. So one of the things you have to do in KDP is that you must be value oriented. You want to give as much as you can in that particular book. For me, in order for me to actually be able to price my book very high and customers appreciating the book, even if the price is high, there are certain things I look out for, which I'm going to share with you guys in this video. The first thing I look out for is barrier to entry. That's something I really look out for. You see, in each research, in my previous video on each research, I talked about this a little but i'm going to focus more on this here go for books that are hard to make books that take some kind of professional or technical know-how in order to create those type of books those books will actually help you especially when it comes to the price right so go for books that the barrier to entry is really high meaning that before people can do it, it's not like notebooks or blank journals or all this type of books that anybody can literally do but books that are really really difficult to make those kind of books are books I would say you should go after because you can charge this book at a high price and the price will actually justify the value. The next thing I would focus on on customizing my interior. I know I made a video about how to make a coloring book with your mobile phone and from the comments I get from that video, lots of persons were asking me how do I make my book unique because if this is accessible by everyone, it means that I might get copyright issues or I might just be selling the same thing like everyone. Right? When I started KDP, I actually used that method and that was what I was using for a while. But there was something burning inside of me. I wanted to make my book unique. I wanted to make it very, very different from other people. So what I did was I had to start drawing interiors of myself. What I would do is that I would take an A4 paper, take a pencil, and take a black pen and draw. When I'm done drawing, then I take a picture of it or scanning it. I will now upload it into my phone and use Canva and edit it. But I began to get some customers review from that method I was using. Customers were saying that uh, the book looks like it was photocopied. Though they were buying it, and because of the niche I was in, the kind of book was not really easy 
to make and lots of people could not make it because you need some technical know how to make those kind of books so they were literally buying it but some of them were complaining about the quality of the interior so i began to look for other ways on which i can actually make my books unique so i had to go and buy professional drawing tablets let me show you the professional drawing tablet so um, as you can see this is my professional drawing tablet um, I bought it around um, 25 or 30 dollars. So it's not really expensive and it actually does the job for me. I know there are more, there are other professional drawing tablets that people use that are more quality, but this actually gets me the results I want. It was actually easy for me to actually make books that are more quality and customize them with myself. It is not easy to actually use this, right? At the beginning, when I started, it was. I had no body to teach me or whatever and i'm really not an artist also but you know the desire and the determination to succeed will drive you to learn certain things that on the norm you don't want to learn right so what i did was i had to practice for like a month with this until i could effectively use this to actually make good customized interior so it actually helped me to um, make my book unique and separate from other people right so my interiors are not something you see online my interiors are not something in fact I don't hire artists to do my interiors because it is quite expensive to hire artists to do your interior for you because each page you charge about minimum of like five dollars some even charge of ten dollars so if you are doing like 50 pages you know how much that will cost especially for those of you that do not really have that much money to spend hiring someone so for me i do it myself the only disadvantage of doing this is that it actually takes a lot of time to make it but at the end of the day it's your book and it's customized to you 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 make it the way you want to make it by yourself so i would suggest to you that if you want to actually make your book more unique it means you have to learn how to draw and get a drawing tablet but if you don't have the money to actually get a drawing tablet you can still use the one the one i taught on that video for the meantime when sales start coming use the money and get yourself a drawing tablet it will literally help you a lot on with this drawing tablet you can use it on your phone you can use it on the tablet you can use it on the laptop so particularly for me i actually use it on my laptop so there are many ways to actually go around this but try as much as possible to make your book very very unique so that if customers come to buy this book and they see it so be like oh we have not seen something like this before because the truth is that when people come to amazon to buy they buy other books it's not just your book they buy and they compare they look they look for the one that is better the one that is different because most of the times you find books that look similar but those kind of books that are customized those kind of books that are unique you tend to have better reviews that will get your book to last for a very very long time next thing you want to focus on is your cover you want to make sure that your cover is really really for cover designs, I would make a video about cover designs. I can't um, overemphasize the importance of a good cover. I don't care how good your interior is. Actually, I do care how good your interior is. But what I'm trying to say is that your interior can be very good, but if your cover is bad, your book will not sell. Because this is a competitive business. There are other books that have good covers. And you want to make sure that your, your cover speaks of quality and professionalism. So it's actually good to know how to make covers. So I'm going to make a video about cover design. So there are covers you just see and you want to buy the book. That's how it is on Amazon. Like you just see the cover, you fall in love. There are people that don't even care about the interior. The cover has taken them away. The cover is something that you have to take your time. I take about three or four days to make one cover. But when that cover is ready and I publish the book, my sales begin to jump because I know how important cover design is. So the next thing I will talk about is finding the missing piece. This is something I do a lot when I'm doing my research. When you go on a particular niche, you want to take as much time as possible to observe that niche. What is something you can actually put in your book that other books do not have that will make your book stand out? That missing piece is, is a very important thing. It's like a selling point. So this is something you have to take your time to do, especially when you are doing your niche research. You want to find the missing piece. It might be you want to specify your book it might be you want to add some some things into your book that other people don't have it might be that there's something about it that you can just get creative think what is something i can actually add to my book that will make my book stand out the another thing that people do not observe very well is setting their price properly some people just search price for the us and let it go it is actually wrong to do that you have to set your price properly in the US, in UK, in Australia, in Canada, in Germany, in France, and other countries that Amazon have their stores in. You know, normally what Amazon does is they automate it. Immediately you just put a price on the primary marketplace. Other countries, they will just automatically fill the price based on the forex exchange at that time. So you have to go back and adjust the prices, fit the prices in such a way that these prices can actually make sense when somebody wants to buy it. You don't just do research in the US. You do research in the US, in the UK, in Canada, and in Australia. You look at books there 
that are selling the same thing that you want to sell. And look at the price they put there, and that is what you go and fix for yourself, right? You don't just assume a price and put. No, you take your time to do the price research in other markets because your book is still going to appear in other markets. And for me particularly, I've enjoyed a lot of sales from other markets, especially from the non-English speaking countries. I've enjoyed a lot of sales. There are times that over like 60% of my revenue comes from the non-English speaking countries. So I would have noticed that you don't really need to make so much books for you to make thousands of dollars. And you don't even need to sell too much books for you to make thousands of dollars. You just need to be in the right niche. Know how to make your book very unique and price your book properly. Get sales and make your money. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.